because why not here? It is currently uh, 10 50 p.m. and we're filming something because I didn't get to it today because I was procrastinating it <laughs> this video. This is going to be a bit different from what I've actually done. This is going to be a book unhaul video and it's not because I don't have space on my shelves because I do but there is a but. <laughs> um, I went to a school that was very like um, literature focused I guess you could say outside of my English classes there was always this little box of free books that I always 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 decided to take stuff from even though I didn't carry around a backpack at that time so I would just carry them around in this like giant binder that I used to have um and it was and it got heavy so quickly but i carried it around because it was the commitment i was committed did i ever read any of these books no why i picked them up i still don't know however i am currently going to get rid of a lot of these honestly and most of these books are from that situation but a good chunk of them are also just books from my personal collection that i just either don't need i'm not going to read again um or just seem or just need to get rid of because they've been on my bookshelf for a while and i just never got around to it let's get started okay so um we have two boxes full of books however i'm going to pick from the um smallest pile there are two these are two books that are entirely random but um this is a graphic novel by steve king Stephen King uh called The Dark Tower the Gunslayer the Gunslinger thing I don't I don't know why I picked this up I think it was because it was the shortest Stephen King book I had ever found but also I was just never I don't think I was ever going to read this I think I was just going to I think I thought I was going to read it but I never really did and then this is uh, Mythic Ireland by Michael Dames I think yeah See, this book I picked up because I was obsessed with Celtic culture at the time, um, and it was there, so I took it. Um, never read it, never even flipped through the book. Um, it's a nonfiction book, obviously, but um, I don't know why I ever picked this up. Next book, um, is, and most of them are hardbacks too. Uh, next book is by Dean, K Dean Kunitz, and it's called The Silent Corner no idea what this book is about i know it's like adult um thriller thing oh <laughs> yeah i think i know why i picked this up now the tagline of this book is i very much need to be dead so yeah it's a suspense uh thriller thing that's the book at least that's what i think is happening here um i just never got around to actively like you know picking it up mainly because i think it's like adult and I'm not really sure if I'm like up to that level yet. <laughs> Next book we have is Judy Bloom's uh, Summer Sisters. Personally, I got this as a gift. I'm just not interested in reading it, to be honest with you. I just, like, it just never felt really, just, I just never felt like reading it, <laughs> honestly. Next book we have is i think a fantasy yeah this is a fantasy uh george R. R. martin wrote a blurb on it it's called the last kingdom by bernard cornwell i know nothing about this book it is no nothing i know nothing all i know is that the type is really small and i was not going to put myself through that so here's another hardcover high fantasy book thing I wanted to get these but then I was like also I'm not entirely interested. However this is a beautiful copy of this book um, that I think a lot of people would appreciate. Um, it is called A Call on the Fire by Ken Follett. I think this is the third book in this in a series or something. The third the second or third book I can't remember. I remember looking it up but I can't remember what where this book falls in the series. It's like it's it's like it's like historical high fantasy kind of really 
but there's no magic I don't think so I wasn't really too interested and also this book is heavy as hell but also the pages just feel weird the pages are like that kind of smooth paper that just like is not is not cute anymore next book we have is at oldest time by Liz Braswell um this is like a it's like part of that like series that Disney that like Disney press was doing uh like rewriting like darker versions of the fairy tales and whatnot um there are a bunch of Barnes and Noble I just never picked it up I never really wanted to read this book so this is also going sorry I'm putting them all in my lap so that um well I can just put them down next book we have is called um The Client by John Grisham I think this is like a legal um fiction book thingy yeah it's like yeah it's a suspense legal book I think I don't know all I know is that I was never really interested because again I don't really read adult and even if I did this would not be on my list because <laughs> I'm just not this that kind of adult reader you know I haven't even ventured into the into the you know discipline at all next two books we have actually are part of a pair of like why like I'm getting rid of them um you know Crown of Midnight and Kingdom of Ash. The reason I'm getting rid of them, I have the hardback copy, copy, copies. I don't need the paperbacks. The next book we have is called The Lost Symbol uh, by Dan Brown. He wrote The Da Vinci Code. I did actually like that book. However, this one I'm just not exactly too interested in reading really because I just never really wanted to be in it. I did like The Da Vinci Code, like that one was interesting, but this one is like his more adult book and I again was not very interested. I don't know why I picked any of this up honestly, like the memory escapes me because that was high school me and college me does not remember. No, 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 no. And the last book in the first box is The Help uh, by uh, Catherine Socket. Stock it. Yeah, this was turned into a movie. Um, and also, I'm not entirely too interested in reading the book. Like, the book sounds interesting and all of those things, but I'm just not entirely... Um, I'm just... This is just not a genre that I, uh, want to be reading or pick up at all, really. Because it's just, it's just not my style, really. Right, on to the second box. There are a lot of books that I'm getting rid of, honestly. <laughs> uh this the first book that i'm pulling out no particular order um is a beauty and the beast book thing that i i got i, th I think i got gifted this by cr for christmas um it's called lost in a book by jennifer donnelly i'm fairly certain this is like either middle grade or actually like actively a children's book mainly because if you look at the pages you see how the type is just like either is like pretty big and also doesn't fill up the entire page that's one thing because it's just trying to make the book longer than it actually is that's so yeah but also i'm entirely also not interested in reading this book and i know there are people who would be very interested in reading this book so we're getting um we are uh respectfully uh discarding <laughs> Next book we have in here is Thunderhead, mainly because I already picked up a paperback copy of Thunderhead and also Toll, so um, I don't need the hardback cover anymore. Uh, same thing with these other two books. Um, it's uh, Clockwork Prince and City of Lost Souls. I got new copies of these because this one's slightly damaged and then this one has water damage, so we're just... So we just didn't need, did not need, yeah. And then this series, and then this, uh, the last thing in this box is um, quite literally, um, this series I DNF'd because I just couldn't with the last book. Like the first two books were okay. This last book was just too plot convenient to be good. And that is The Match Trilogy by Ali Condi. Now, I did love Matched and I liked Crossed. Reach just got a little, a little, what's the word? 
sort of, again, convenient. I just didn't enjoy how everything seemed to be happening as is or like happening as expected. It was just too predictable for me. So I just decided, you know what, screw that. I'm not keeping these on my shelves anymore because I know I'm not gonna read it. And I know there are people who are going to love it. But also like the romances in here just come out of nowhere to be entirely honest like they build in the first like one romance builds in the first two and then it switches back to the original that just didn't make sense that and it just didn't make sense so discarded <laughs> okay so the reason i decided to unhaul all of these books is mainly because i don't have any use in hoarding them anymore i think i, I think the reason i um you know started acquiring them was mainly because I just didn't know any better about what I wanted to read what I wanted to actually like have on my bookshelves um at that point in my life it was just like uh it's just like oh it's free let me take it um and that's not how things work um I think you should um like keep things that make you happy keep things that you actually want to keep keep things that you actually like want to have and aren't just like keeping just for the sake of keeping it so i think there's value in like knowing that you can't have everything um however you can have things that do make you happy and having those things that make you happy is so much more fulfilling than just having things um so all of these books are gonna go to um like i'm gonna donate all of them i'm either gonna donate them to my local library or some other like book drive or something i don't know um all i know is that i'm probably not gonna sell them um at least most of them because two of them are damaged but the rest are in really good condition so i could sell them if i really really wanted to but I don't think I'm going to do that because A, that seems like a lot of work. And two, it's just, I just, this is just a really random assortment of books that I just don't think, um, like, would sell very well. Mainly because they're just, there's kind of no rhyme or reason to any of them. I know the Sarah J Mass books would sell really well. I know the, uh, Reach, I know I could sell probably the match trilogy for like maybe a hundred and fifty bucks on hango if i really wanted to but i don't think i'm going to do that maybe i will maybe i won't it just kind of like depends on like how things are gonna go forward so this video kind of didn't really have isn't going to be as long as my other videos have been however i do feel like this was kind of an important important video for me to make for myself mainly because I just this is something that I need that needed to happen I think and I think I need to be it's going to be like a lesson to me um to be more aware of the books that I am taking and um putting on my shelves to be displayed there um I do to firmly wish to have books on my shelves that I am proud to have that I am proud to like display on my shelves and like I'm going to keep for the probable rest of my life until I pass on to the next world and whoever gets my book collection after that can do whatever the f they want with it. However what I'm not going to do is going to spend my life collecting books that I don't like or hoarding books that I just am keeping just because I have them. So yeah that's something this is kind of a more philosophical video than I was expecting to make especially at um 11 a.m <laughs> however 11 p.m actually however um I feel like this was very important for me and I hope you guys will agree with me in the comments hopefully my mom's going to be very happy about this video <laughs> um but yeah, I actually am filming, going to start filming something tomorrow, actually, because I have a video about it. I have a video planned. It's going to be very exciting. So this is just going to be like a precursor because this, because this whole thing is going to be in that video. I'm probably going to donate them next week. Um, uh, once I find like a suitable book drive or something. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like, and um, if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new video by hitting the bell icon right next to it. 
Um, I'm going to start posting once a week or at the very or at the very most like twice a week if I really have the time for it. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you, Metal Bye.